Over the past few decades, Japan and Europe have been leading the way in railway technology and are world famous for their rich technology accumulation and research and development experience. In comparison, China's railway technology used to lag behind others. However, with its strong manufacturing foundation and continuous technological innovation, China has achieved a leap from a technology follower to a technology leader in just a dozen years. Especially in the fields of high-speed rail and urban rail transit, China has surpassed many developed countries, including the United States. In March 2024, China once again showed the world an epic-making technology hydrogen energy city train. This train is the world's first to rely entirely on a built-in hydrogen power system and represents the latest achievement of China's railway technology. During the experiment, the train ran at a speed of 160 km per hour and had a maximum cruising range of more than 1,000 km. Unlike traditional trains, hydrogen energy city trains do not need to rely on fossil energy or catenary power supply, but provide long-lasting and strong power through their own hydrogen energy power system. So, in today's video, I will introduce to you in detail this Chinese hydrogen train that is changing urban transportation and see what significant advantages it has compared to traditional trains. If you like our video content, please click to subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you can receive all our latest video content. Now, let's get into today's topic. In this era of rapid development and technological innovation, the rapid progress of industry has undoubtedly promoted the prosperity of modern society. However, this development also brings about carbon emission issues that cannot be ignored. Fossil fuels such as coal, oil and natural gas still account for the majority of global energy consumption, but the carbon dioxide they produce during their combustion is the main source of global greenhouse gas emissions. According to statistics in 2023, global carbon dioxide emissions have exceeded a staggering 40.9 billion tons. These emissions directly affect the stability of the global climate, leading to more extreme weather events. Faced with these increasingly severe natural warnings, the global society has to carry out profound self-reflection and reform. In order to cope with this challenge, Many countries have made carbon neutral emission reduction one of the core goals of their national development strategies. They actively explore and develop new energy technologies and promote the use of renewable energy, hoping to reduce dependence on fossil fuels. As one of the most populous countries in the world, China is naturally one of the largest sources of global greenhouse gas emissions. However, in 2020, China announced that it would actively promote a low-carbon development strategy and carbon neutrality goals. In order to achieve this goal, the Chinese government has taken a series of measures to encourage enterprises to adopt advanced energy-saving technologies and equipment, and at the same time carry out technological transformation of traditional high-energy consuming industries to improve energy efficiency. Especially in the automotive industry, China's new energy vehicle market has achieved significant development. As of 2023, the number of new energy vehicles in China has reached 16.2 million. According to calculations, each new energy vehicle can reduce carbon emissions by 1.66 tons per year, which is equivalent to reducing carbon dioxide emissions by approximately 27 million tons per year. In addition, China is also exploring innovative low-carbon solutions in other transportation areas. For example, China has developed and put into use a new type of marine transportation, the Kaili sailboat. As an important participant in the global trade of goods, China has tens of thousands of ships sailing in global waters every year. It is estimated that each Kaili sailboat can reduce carbon dioxide emissions by up to 2,918 tons per year. In the past 10 years, China has reduced its carbon dioxide emissions by nearly 3 billion tons, becoming one of the countries with the fastest decline in energy intensity in the world. 
and has even exceeded the carbon emission intensity reduction target set by the international community. Although China has made remarkable achievements in many fields, they have not rested on their laurels or stopped moving forward. Just recently, China announced that it had made an important breakthrough in the field of high-speed rail trains and successfully developed the world's first hydrogen energy urban train. So, what are the advantages of this hydrogen train compared to traditional trains? In fact, China launched a research project on hydrogen fuel cells in the field of rail transportation as early as 2014. After 10 years of continuous efforts and innovation, China's R&D team has successfully mastered the R&D and manufacturing technology of hydrogen energy and has reached the international leading level in design and practical application. It is particularly worth mentioning that in March 2024, China's first independently developed hydrogen energy urban train conducted a full-load operation test in Changchun, Jilin. During this trial, the train reached a speed of 160 km per hour. At present, China's high-speed trains can easily reach a speed of 360 km per hour. Compared with this speed, China's hydrogen energy trains are not outstanding. However, the research and development focus of hydrogen trains is not just about speed, but also about making important progress in environmental protection and sustainable development. According to the Hydrogen Train Research Department of the Research Center, this hydrogen energy urban train mainly uses the reaction of hydrogen and oxygen to generate power. This process is based on an electrochemical reaction rather than a traditional combustion process, so the entire reaction is very smooth and noiseless. More importantly, in this process, chemical energy is directly converted into electrical energy, and the only product is water without emitting any carbon dioxide or other pollutants. This clean energy conversion method is fully in line with the current global trend of energy conservation, emission reduction, and green and clean development. In addition, compared with traditional internal combustion-powered urban vehicles, hydrogen energy urban trains can achieve up to 50,000 tons of carbon dioxide emission reductions throughout their life cycle. This figure is equivalent to the fuel consumption and exhaust emissions caused by 50,000 cars traveling 5,000 kilometers each. Although hydrogen energy urban trains are driven by electrochemical reactions, they are different from traditional trains that rely on fossil fuels or obtain electrical energy through contact grids. Instead, they are equipped with a built-in hydrogen energy power system. This system makes the train's energy consumption very low during operation, consuming only about 5 kilowatt hours of electricity per kilometer on average. In addition, this innovative train adopts a distributed hybrid power supply solution with multiple energy storage and multiple hydrogen energy systems, which increases the diversity and complexity of energy supply. Furthermore, the train also integrates the Hydrogen Electric Hybrid Energy Management Strategy and control system independently developed by CRRC. This system not only achieves deep integration of vehicle control, but also significantly improves energy utilization efficiency. Through this efficient energy management, the train's energy supply becomes more flexible and reliable, and at the same time, the maximum cruising range can reach more than 1,000 kilometers. As far as I know, this hydrogen energy urban train also uses the key core technology of China's Fuxing Hao and is similar to the Fuxing Hao in appearance design, using a group of four cars. In terms of technological innovation, hydrogen energy urban trains have achieved full system, full scenario, and multi-level performance verification. Intelligent control technology is particularly outstanding. The train adopts the highest level of automatic driving technology and has intelligent driving functions such as automatic wake up, automatic start and stop, and automatic return to the warehouse. In terms of intelligent monitoring systems, the train is equipped with multiple intelligent detection systems and thousands of intelligent sensors, which is equivalent to the train carrying an accompanying doctor that can conduct self-detection and status awareness in real time. In addition, 
The vehicle also adopts 5G high-capacity train-to-ground communication technology for the first time. It realizes real-time transmission of train-to-ground information through multi-network integration and combines big data analysis technology to evaluate the running status of the train, thereby ensuring a high degree of safety in driving. It is worth mentioning that in the process of developing hydrogen energy urban trains, CRRC attaches great importance to testing the durability, high and low temperature adaptability, vibration, electromagnetic compatibility and fire safety of the hydrogen power system and its key components. Verification, a more comprehensive vehicle performance test was also conducted for this purpose. These tests cover key parameters such as energy consumption, cruising range, reliability, traction, braking performance, and vehicle dynamics at different speed levels. It is particularly worth mentioning that this is the first time to verify the actual performance of hydrogen trains at extreme ambient temperatures of minus 25 degrees Celsius to 35 degrees Celsius, which is difficult to achieve with traditional trains. Moreover, in actual tests, hydrogen energy urban trains fully met all performance indicators of vehicle design. Whether in high or low temperature environments, the vehicle can meet the final operating requirements and its performance has reached the world's leading level. Compared with similar international technologies, Chinese products have significant performance advantages. For example, compared with European hydrogen rail transit vehicles, the maximum passenger capacity of Chinese trains can reach more than 1,000 people which shows its unique advantages in increasing operational efficiency and meeting large-scale transportation needs. In view of the huge challenges currently faced by many countries in achieving zero-carbon or carbon-neutral climate goals, if transportation vehicles like hydrogen energy urban trains can be widely used, China's hydrogen energy urban train technology will undoubtedly provide a global offers a practical solution. As this technology continues to be improved and popularized, China is expected to occupy an important position in the international transportation market and use this innovative technology to bring considerable foreign exchange earnings. To not miss out on our future projects and news updates, please make sure you subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications. We will continue to provide you with more exciting and interesting content.